Okay. So now um, maybe I want to make a little form that lets the authorized users of this website add new information into the tables in the database. So I've got this set up. Um, I've left out the surrounding HTML that should be on this page, but I've made a little form um, that just collects the first name and last name of a person. And then I've got the PHP that will do processing down here. So if the form has been submitted, I'm going to grab out the first name and last name. Um, for simplicity of this example, I'm leaving out uh, like sanitization of the input, but you would obviously want to include that um, in a real site. So this is what we've got. Um, so I'm going to collect this information, and then I want to have it be inserted into my person table. So I'm going to go back over here and just mess with the SQL in here to make sure it works. So I'm going to insert um, into person, and I want to add the values um, person first name and person last name and I'm putting in values and I'm just going to put in some specific values right here so let's do Flavia which is one of my other dogs and I just want to see if this query works as written um, so let's run it and see if it does it so that says it was so successful if I go and browse here I am uh, Flavia Petter you'll notice my auto increment is at four that's because I did a practice run of this before I started recording so that incrementer is going to keep incrementing even if I delete these people okay so I'm going to leave her in there um, let's go back into our page over here so I have the query looking okay um, oops, I'm gonna just mess with it right here um, of course, I don't want to use these static values. I'm going to use what I grabbed from the form. So that's going to be inside the variable called first name. And this is going to be in the variable that I called last name. Okay. And I'm not ready for that because I still need all that other stuff that goes with this. So let's go steal it off of another page. So I'm going to grab it and steal it from show things. So I'm going to do all my connection to my database once I'm actually ready to do stuff. Um, and I'm going to grab this much only, okay, because we're not actually accessing information this time. We are adding it, so I don't need all that stuff. But I'm going to put this right here. Okay, so I've got my connection made. I'm going to run my query. I still need to know if I'm successful in running it. So I'm going to check this. Okay, just trying to line stuff up here. And then um, users don't like it when they can't tell that something happened. So if this is successful, I'm going to say um, person was added. Okay, and so now let's take this query and put it up here instead of this select query. We'll have an insert query. It's adding some weird spacing. Let me clean that up a little bit. Okay, bring this up here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then after this runs, I'm going to close up the connection. All right, let's see if this thing works. So let's come over here. All right, reload this page so it's fresh. Here we go. Let's add in my last dog, which is widget header submit. Oh, I have a problem accessing thing table. Oh, I've got it accessing the wrong table or something. Let's see. Problem accessing oh, person. All right, what could the problem be? Let's try it again one more time. Okay, so let's see. Person, 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 first name, person, last name, I'll use first name, comma, last name. I wonder if I need to put these guys, let's see, let's see if that fixes it. So let's go check our thing over here. Browse again. 
there's a widget header. Okay, so what did I have to do to fix that? I had to break out um, so that I could put quotes around my values since they're coming from variables. Um, I had to turn them into little quoted things by closing up my string and then reopening it. So that's how you add something.